Hello again. Uh, welcome back. I'm Tina, this is To the Inner Wild. To the best of the best, light and love crew, practitioners who reciprocate their very best positive vibes. Always. Okay. Um, things were going pretty well today. Uh, so I'm going to let that set expectations for the duration of the week because I said so and because I can. Number one, that's what I'm going to do. Oh, I forgot. I almost forgot. It is positive affirmations Monday. <laughs> Let's do it now then because as soon as I got home, decided to check my emails, and I noticed, I noticed, my my dear friends, that I got another no, um, notice, for lack of better reference, um, from the ex-lawyer, who is, oh my gosh, what a weasel. <laughs> what a weasel. Pretended as though that he was going to um, respond to my inquiries on, or the disputes on the charges, the very, very bogus charges um, that were made um, uh, during um, his supposed representation. And um, approximately $15,000. <laughs> that's, that's, that is absolute highway robbery. Okay, that's let's establish that. So for the remaining bogus twenty five hundred, whatever that cost was, he weaseled his way out. Um, I have reached out to him over a dozen times now, uh, and he has um, pretty much ghosted me. Um, that you cannot attribute that to. Uh, you know, having so many cases, you know, being just already pre-committed. Um, when you close up books, you close up books and that's it. But um, he's trying to get away with it and continuously um, send me the bill. Now, <laughs> this is, I think, the first month now with interest. He's billing it with interest. And um, so I, I really am going to, I'm going to sign off and escalate that karma for him. Okay, because he's got to learn his lessons. I looked him up on Yelp. Um, I thought he had a profile there, his law firm, but um, uh, apparently it must be dissolving. Maybe that's a sign of him dissolving or trying to weasel out of the public forum. Whatever the case, I'm going to put it back on board. I am. I'm going to find him on, what is it, Google and... You know, I, I got to work my way around to it because I can't have this like lingering thing um, constantly just like a uh, gum st stuck on my shoe, you know, and he's got to pay for what he's done. I, I know that it's not just to me, but to many others. Dude did not even get me child support. <laughs> I got that. I worked towards that. Anyway, um, let this be a huge spiritual master class with a heavy bill on, um, on learnings. I'm going to take it like that, okay, what I've already invested. But the extra amount, <laughs> he thought that comping like 60 bucks would solve it all. How ridiculous. Do you know what kind of greed that is? To be able to think that you you could just ease everything over, like all the mischarges, all the, oh my gosh, wow. <laughs> Spirit, what do you want me to say about this, okay? What do you want me to say about this? Let's go ahead with the dream cards. Um, and then we're going to move into... It's like, I can talk about the positive things today. Maybe that'll roll out. 
um, within the reading, but, um, let's, let's address this part first, okay? Okay. What is it that we can foretell about this character? What shall happen to him? What, if, if, you, if you want me to divulge, if not, it's okay. Maybe not at this time, or maybe right now is the right time. We shall see. Like, the balls of someone <laughs> is actually lack thereof in order to go about it like this. Okay, okay, so it's a trapeze artist again. Um, they want me to focus on what I can do about it. How it displays my mm, unique talents and skills in um, aerial pursuits. The acrobatics of um, um, foundations that are Um, intangibles okay maneuvering through like instead of one step at a time it's one bar at a time oh my gosh I have to report him to the bar and if there's several variations of that that's what I'm supposed to be doing don't go from the bottom up no no we're gonna go to the head we're going to show them proof. We're going to reveal it. Okay, anything else that you want to say about that spirit? 49 is the number. Um, 49 boils down to 13 um, in numerology. So that's the death card in um, in the Major Arcana. And, well, and then absolute for um numerology that will boil down to four which is emperor card <laughs> which is spirit <laughs> oh spirit's gonna take a um personal um nah. spirit's gonna handle this personally is what um what that tells me they are going they are going to take ownership for this because i did not I not only messaged him, but his partner in that. The female partner was shown to be like she's no longer with the company. So, um, yeah. That's, this was, okay. That one. Oh, we, I put this card away before. So this is um, the Mayan temple, it looks like, or one of their sacred sites. Um, there is some burial, like, totems here, it look, appears to be. Um, but this is walking towards the Eye of Ra. So something is going to be received by mail. Calls are going to be made. Photographic evidence. The all-seeing eye sees it all. So it's um, the steps that lead to one place. And... Uh, so evidence is going to be found. Yeah, there's going to be a let letter sent on over to, I don't know if it's, I don't, initially it was to him, but I don't know if it's to me because they seem more like feminine hands. Mm, but calls are definitely going to be made. Um, something of like a beggar status. Um, and I don't get that it's me. I don't, it's, it's not me. That's him. Because there's going to be talks, you know, it's like telephone, playing telephone. Things are going to be um, transferred, word of mouth. Especially, dude, especially if I have higher ups, like underground, like very, very prominent, um, successful people watching me. Time traveling buddies watching me very very powerful people it's not just people I have very good backup mm -hmm. so things are going to be relayed accordingly 
So. Interesting. Okay. All right, we got that. <sighs> Huge display of strength and justice on the bottom. This is a reckoning as well. Oh yeah, spirit is here, most definitely. That this was accentuated. I mean, I guess there that's accentuated right there, but um, most definitely. So um, this validates it. I'm just going to put that on the top then, and then we're going to move into tarot, vice versa tarot. Okay, we are going to look at Positive Affirmations Mondays. Hmm. All right. Okay. <clears throat> 4 3 p.m. Positive Affirmations Monday. Oh, gosh, what is it? Okay. So, muted or inverted is the Queen of Wands, inverted, okay, back turned, and then the Hermit card, also the same status, and then <laughs> um, the King of Wands, um, pronounced, whoa, okay, this is crazy, um, the only one with their eyes closed is the Queen of Wands, she's meditating, um, thinking about what's worth, um, like what's worth the battle, you see, with the, um, snake around the egg, like, so this is meditating, going inside, looking at, um, what, um, is, uh, most worthwhile protecting, preserving. And so there's a certain strategy that I need to go about this. Is this is something that I've never ever done before with, you know, as far as <laughs> this lifetime anyway. Um, this is something that I've never done before in battling things out with um, no, um, no help from here. I mean, I don't know. Maybe some help will come around <laughs> with regards to the lawyer stuff like I I don't know if they said that I will so let me see here romantic tarot oh king of pentacles and then the hermit card right there so someone in power like boss mode um is going to help me figure things out and that's why we saw where are you this I was wondering, like, why is it, like, um, a couple at the very bottom here? So, um, I'm going to have my support. If not, it's already here. Okay. Okay. So, let me just put this away. So, I have a place I can put all this stuff. This is good. Okay, so positive affirmations. Okay, I for, I almost forgot that we were doing that. Okay. Um, I am within the learnings of mastering um, self-mediation. Mm -hmm. um, with those three cards, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I know that I'm very capable 
of finding spiritual balance in the amidst darkness. Yeah. Went amongst darkness. Mm-hmm. Um, what else do you want to say about this? Yeah, because I'm, I'm, I'm really tired of feeling shaken by things so randomly, you know. So this is just another practice test mm -hmm, to see um, what truly matters to me. Because there's, there's all kinds of distractions. There's ple pleasant distractions. There's um, distractions that kind of hold you over after a long hiatus. Um, of getting to know other energies. And so, hmm. I never lose myself nor who I am. Um, when things are not 100% clear. Yeah. Because that's the hermit card um, kind of dulled off. It's only internalized. Like, we're not projecting. Um, with the hermit card um, inverted, we're not projecting um, our darkness or whatever. Um, our, um, our own mysteries onto anyone else. So... Okay. All right. I think I got that. Cuz I don't really have anything more to say about this combination. Mm. I mean, other than the fact that like if we're looking at this outside of the internal um or in conjunction with um it's saying that Mm. being able to self-manage uh, through my low points. Um, it, I attract, um, hmm. how do I say this? My potatoes. I don't know, I get the impression because there's three wands here that, oh wait, 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 I remember, hold on, the back was turned on two of those, was it all three of them? Holy smokes, I think so. So how many wands here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 wands, then 17, hmm, new card, slit, okay, so I guess if we're looking at all of the backs, saying that in the process of grounding um, in the process of grounding um, during my personal hiatus much needed hiatus um, with 17 oh it's a star card Um, it ironically boosted me um, to star status, like um, like a shooting star. Mm -hmm. 
to accentuate um, how do I say it why am I drawing blanks right now this is so weird maybe I'm I feel like maybe I don't feel good <laughs> at the moment anyway so all the more reason to focus on this okay let's let's get it straight here Um, I give myself credit because it's totally valid in all that I've gone through, all that I've seen, all that I've personally taken accountability for. And because of that, That's what the world sees. And they see that I'm all about that. No compromise. Mm hmm. Hmm. I think there's something about naturally networking here. Like, I don't have to try so hard in order to be established. Like, I don't have to work so hard externally um, to establish uh, that kind of power. Because I already did it internally, and I'm still doing it internally. Mm. Okay. I think that's, that's good. Okay, that took a little bit. Ten minutes, okay. Positive affirmations number two. What is it that you, angels of light and love, what is it? Oh, that's a lover's card in reverse, facing forward. Okay. Hmm. Let's get a little bit more context to that. Okay, this is the one. Ten of swords in reverse. Okay. Mm. Mm. So, I've left behind victim mentality. You see? Um, after realizing how much betrayal there was. Mm -hmm. And because of that, you know, even though that there's a time out, like there's an intermission of manifesting this, um, there's still a lot of love there. You know, there's still a lot of love a brewing. You know, I still feel the vibes for myself. Um, I'm, st I'm still proud of how far I've come. Um, uh, you know, well, th things are in the works, so. Even though it doesn't make me the most social at this time. Like, I don't know. yet was safe to share. Um, I'm learning how to forgive. <laughs> uh, all that goes along with recalibrating. Okay. 
So how do we want to make that a little bit more in flow? Okay. Mm. Mm. Having the knowledge of betrayal doesn't keep me in. How do I say it? Having the knowledge of um, multiple forms of betrayal um, allows me to advance my story, become my own hero. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what it says over here. Mm. Okay. So there is so much more to salvage than what was lost in previous relationships. That's what it's saying here. There's so much more than just how it was left off or what transpired. There, there's so much more. Okay. All right, positive affirmations number three, 419. Okay. Mm, nine of cups in reverse. Hmm. It hit the Ten of Swords in reverse, too. I thought it was a Magician card, but it's the Magician with um, Destiny right here. So, that said, um, this allows me, these experiences allow me to really figure out what what happiness means to me you know is is happiness just comfortability is it just familiarity is it the adventure of becoming familiar with new things is it um um speaking of comfort um is it uh uh validation like somebody um uh stroking your ego is it um some things that money can buy is it um looking at you know things in hindsight and and just being glad that that's over with is that enough for to say that that's happiness um or is it just like happiness for the time being? Or is it just relief? Like, what's the difference between happiness and relief? You know, it's, it doesn't always mean the same thing. So, um, these experiences allow me to reflect. Like, there's a running theme in here of reflection. Um, yes, reflection, um, so as to um, not project. Um, so like what what is it that defines happiness for me I'm able to ser take that question into serious consideration with or without distractions like what these experiences allow me to fine tune what what's happiness to me You know, in, in different terms, too. Like, different uh, situations. Is there any card to elaborate further on that spirit? Or is... Was that... Okay, this one. Um, nine of Pentacles. Yeah, it's... Um, so, we have Master number 99 here. I forget what that one was. Um, but this is Hope and fertility this is abundance like in independently legit <laughs> um everything's going pretty great 
Hmm. So, I'm on my way to attaining that. So instead of like constantly questioning, how did I land myself in this mess of not just like the, <laughs> the, um, the marriage, um, but like the attorney, like how, instead of questioning it, questioning it as though it had no place in my life that, um, like the victim mentality, it's more like, no. I signed up for this for a particular reason, which means that they are absolutely meant to receive their karma in its most accentuated form. I signed up for that, to dish that out to those that it's time. It, it's calling time. It, it's definitely time. Um, so it's like that last um, wake up call before execution so <laughs> you know what that flux pavilion that song um do or die so they they make the right decision or they f up and um it's uh they face um that mode of karma so let's see here okay so the positive affirmation in this is mm, uh, my energetics clearly clearly depict abundance, happiness, fulfillment, stability. This all goes without saying because I took the time out to reflect on how I define it so how, so I can fulfill that. It's just like marketing. You find out what the need is and you fulfill it. So you really got to listen. You really got to listen. <laughs> I like the fact that I'm able to listen to myself before listening to others. That's that's what I've accomplished. Like if I could say what one of my biggest accomplishments was for the past um, year it's listening to myself I don't even want to imagine what would come of following in the same um, doing the same old same old even as much as I have to say about you know my food service jobs um, this is, uh, like, I'm still better off because, um, the change up in patternings has allowed me to gain more insights. Um, yeah, and just get me out of that place to know that, like, sometimes you have to, um, make negotiations in the interim um, yeah because I would be worse off keeping as is so I made correct decisions my energetics show that those who practice <laughs> know my energetics show that like they question why or how I got there or whatever um, people that first meet me, they, they don't really, um, they don't really know how, but that would only be, that would be really the only explanation for it. That you put in the work. Okay. All right. Tina put in the work. All right, positive affirmations number four. Mm, eight of cups, facing forward. Okay. Oh yeah, we got the shooting star again. 
Huh. So this is the fourth positive affirmation. It's drawing one and four. Okay. So the inner child in me has the ability, the touch point of the, how to say it. Um, as a supreme co-creator, I am able to tap into, how do I say it? Tap into my inner child. And speak in a way, speak, how do I say it? I don't know, because there's, these are, these are more complex. Okay, so let me, because I'm getting something like the magician, the inner child, the access points of that in order to be able to reach spirit on a different level that allows me to manifest my dreams. And the inner child doesn't really know 100% how to verbalize what those dreams are. Um, but they know that it's a tall order. <laughs> that's, what it, that's what it looks like, at least for me, anyway. You know, the tall order is like um, something that, um, like these cups um, uh, can't, how do I say it? It's more than what the cups can fill. So spirit is able to make those things come true. Spirit is making thing, those things come true. So when I engage in my practices, and it grounds me and puts me in touch with my inner light. And it's a realm that I get to just talk to. Talk to spirit. it feels like nobody really understands. Five of Swords. Yeah. There's a dual aspect in, to, in this. But in saying, like, nobody really, un I feel, it seems like. I'm nobody really understands. So there's a sense of, like, hey, I showed up to the battle, but, like, you know, there's a sense of defeat, right? where um, you realize that people are not really playing on the same team or in accordance to the same rules. They're not even looking at you. They're not even looking your way. <laughs> so, you know, there's that kind of sadness. But there's also that part where, as the victor, in um, having those access points and achieving these levels of mastery within the spiritual realm, others feel defeated. You know? It's like we have different perspectives, we have different point of views, points of views. So. It's something that I can really get upset about. Um, yeah. 
Okay, so that's four. Okay, let's get a fifth affirmation. Positive affirmation, spirit. Okay, so this is... Uh, it's the King of Cups. Accentuated, but it's like the back just turned. So, um... Where, um... This is my Jesus card. <laughs> or spirit and cash. <laughs> uh, but, like, it's not... The back is turned, meaning that, like, we're under their wing. You see? It's like we're we're safe behind them, you know? We're not being approached by them. But um, this is already established relationship. Like, got my back. So it's like in order to get through me, you're going to have to get through spirit, through Jesus, like my, my crew. You're going to have to... Um, there's um, no changing that. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's a spiritual, yeah, uh, protection and support. Okay. So that's good. Mm. I have the permanence of spiritual protection, support, and mentorship on a level that not many know of. <laughs> um, hold on, let me blow my nose. Dude. It's crazy. Okay, so the bottom of the deck is the sun card. Top of the deck is four of cups and reversal. Okay. It's knowing what you forego, and that's that's excellent. Because I know that I already have as much happiness as I could, that as, as I need, you know? So there's no, like, FOMO or a need to make up for that which can land you into like all sorts of trouble but dude i realized like with every thing that's new in my life um they just accentuate my readings being absolutely true <laughs> it like blows my mind because you know when things are out of sight out of mind you don't really like you don't really, I don't know, it's a human part in everyone where they just need that, like, cold, hard evidence. And when you see that kind of come together, when you're reading, I don't, it's, dude, like, it, it's so strange to me. It's so strange. Like, I can't say it all, but it's, it blows my mind away sometimes. Um... So I can only imagine what kind of, like, private support crews I have. Like, seriously. We're not, like, it's great to um, be able to have, um, uh, mm, I don't know if access is the word, but it's, it's really cool, you know, to mm, be known in that world. But, um... Like, it's not just celebrity status. These, these are people who have very, very, very private lives. Like, I mean, almost double lives. Um, they're... <laughs> you'd be very lucky to know or be included in their lives. So, being um, favored... In, in that realm, like, it's something, like, that they can't make super obvious in the way that they help or, like, check on me or whatever, um, but to be granted that, um, ability to, and, and, um, the accessibility, anyway, um, to have that kind of reach is, like, you can't put a price on that, you can't put words to it, um, which is all the more validating in how I handle it because I would not be given that access if I weren't 
trustworthy. If I wasn't able to um, follow according to the way I'm supposed to communicate um, per um, what my um, higher divine crews um, um, divulge to me like what I'm able to channel in, um, there's something about following into, like, there's no BSing. There's, there's no, like, I don't know. I, how do I describe it? So, um, when I channel, I'm supposed to just read the cards. I don't know what, like, and go with the feelings and piecing everything together. I'm, so as long as I'm following true to all that I'm given, like doing my very best in reading, um, it um, proves uh, my um, integrity. That I'm not BSing. So... I should be able to trust these things. You know what would be funny? If um, after this whole divorce thing is over with, if I <laughs> worked with my, like, I don't know how, if, if, <laughs> if I um, got my, the respondents, let's call it that, um, the respondents, Never mind. I'm not going to say anything because it we got on low battery, which tells me like they're like, hold up, don't even say it, okay? Don't even say it, okay? Because um, we're not like pulling jokes here. We're just just move forward here, okay? We're not going to do any what ifs, okay? Okay. Good sign. Good call. All right. E and it fell on the lover's card in um reverse t so oh my gosh that's like extraterrestrial what dude i don't i don't know maybe okay o i o e n t s l y o d t t a n q c p i z an L, okay. Lips. CNA. Mm, ten. Um, today. Yeah, you know, like if I had to rate today, I would still rate it like ten out of ten. <laughs> That's what I gotta say. I think that's all that people really care about, you know, especially those that I'm, you know, actively mm, working with, so, or conversing with, interacting with, um, uh, somebody's name, Yesenia, is in here, um, Lydia, as well, um, Tyson. Mm, stat. Okay. Tina. Letty. Um, Donnie. Don. Dan. Sean, um, Cody, Cat, Katie, um, Asian. Mm, Alan, 
Um, Otto. Nate. Dylan. D-Y-L-A-N. Um, Dottie. Sadie Stan Patty Connie Pastor? No, there's... Is there any R here? No, there's no R here. Tippy? No. Only one P. Lit... No, we almost had Latoya here, but there's only one A. Diane Opal. Okay, Opal is some um, a stone we should be working with. Do I have opal? I have a different kind of opal. I still somebody's tummy. Frick. Okay, um, Nora, no, wait, there's no R. Nat, Nat King Cole. Um, okay, Pilot, hmm. So since we're looking at um, perspectives, um, pilot is an important one. Pilot is also, um, okay, pilot in perspectives, we're talking about, you know, aviation, okay? Um, the maneuverability, like the person that maneuvers, right? Um, that has a know-how that's um, fully interrogated and tested in order to take that seat, okay? Um, many depend on that person okay so then and then they're continuously vetted you know over time um and then there's the pilot which is the entry like the um first screening of um a tv show so that usually um runs like for two hours like it's kind of like the tester to gauge the audience and it's usually this you know big thing so we're looking at pilot within those um views um, there was, there was also something else that I forgot. Mm. Canteen. Attain. Um. Nest. Um. Do we have Palestine? P A L E S T I N E. We have Palestine. We also have Palestinian. We could also look at the third level, which is Pontius Pilate. Oh my gosh, Pontius Pilate was um, the determinant as far as how to um, 
like the prosecutor, I think, for Jesus, the one that dished out judgment to Jesus. I'm a hun I'm pretty sure Pontius Pilate. That's so um there's a lot of argument with um I think Palestine. Dude, I don't know my history as well as I should. It's kind of but Pilate is a big thing here. So and Palestine, I mean if you got this far then you would know that it applies to you in some way. Um at least as far as like the knowledge on a macrocosmic level. So <clears throat> there's something there. Um, I'm seeing CAT scan here. So it's taking a, um, um, a very intrusive view of what's going on inside for anything that is, um, Lethal isn't the word for it. Terminal. Mm -hmm. Something that um, could be, um, is already on the verge of life changing. So something about, I'm doing a cat scan, a scat, cat scan, <laughs> or a scat <laughs> scan <laughs> of, um, of what could cause serious damage. So it's preventative care. Mm-hmm. So you don't have to take it on a very literal sense, but definitely something about that here. Um, Stein. Constance? No. Constantine? Oh my, what? What's Constantine anyway? I don't remember, but I'm supposed to put that. C O N S. No, I only have two N's. Constant. Mm. Maybe we're looking at, um, the experiments that we conduct, the studies that we have when we're doing our observations, like in magician's mode, magician through like temperance mode, is that there's some variables that we hold constant. Um, yeah, because it's like, those um those variables are things that are within our control okay so we can't look at you know certain relationships or whatever and say those those are fixed like we can hold them like for an indefinite amount of time um because the only things that we control is ourselves so it's looking at that the variables that you hold constant what is it within your um um, what's within your power. Okay. So I have today, I have, hmm. Cozy? Right. Did we say something about comfortability? Like what, what, um, equates to happiness for us? Is it, because being comfortable isn't always cozy. <laughs> Let me tell you that. <laughs> but I think cozy depicts a sense of warmth, like just um pure warmth right happiness so it's why can't you achieve both so that's what they're looking at <laughs> okay so as far as constant it shares the same z as cozy okay 
All right. I guess, you know, my guys really don't, or our guys don't want us satiating over nothing, like something that isn't really worth our while because then we go through other cycles again. So if this is going to be like a big change, um, might as well um, make the most out of it. A pilot, again, mind your P's and Q's on that. Delight, hold on. Oh no, it's D-E-L-I-T-E -E here, but it should be G-H-T. Hmm. Diet. Hmm. Hmm. Elite. Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so <laughs> they're saying that I'm one of the elite. Even midpoint, as far as my journey in navigation, like becoming a, a true pilot, you're saying that I'm, I'm one of the elite. And then what's left is E and, or D and T. So T and D, where do you go? Dot. Um, so again, we're looking at the data points. Let me just make sure. Yeah. Um, we may be putting some overtime or it requires additional time beyond the eight hour day, the standard. Yeah, it, it, it requires more time beyond the standard. Okay, so um, in collecting these data points um, to not just um, find happiness but associate that with like the blessings of warmth and you know like the nostalgic feels that you're like as a child um you could equate that with like those cozy vibes the fuzzy cozy vibes so um yeah we've got that so one is constant oh no one is pilot that's the magician Two is constant, which is the high priestess, um, having that higher level view, um, access points that not necessarily everyone has ac um, um, abilities to um, uh, to observe from. Um, three is, um, I think it's cozy, or is it P and Q? Empress. I think it's cozy. Okay, so just knowing that we're absolutely abundant, fertile, or I am. I know, I, I'd say we, we gotta say we. Mm -hmm. um, abundant and fertile. Um, and that those basics of um, association of um, feeling cozy and being cozy um, is certainly attainable. Four is P's and Q's. I don't know. I can't remember if it was P's and Q's or cozy first. But the emperor is um, four. P's and Q's. Uh, again, we reached that midpoint where spirit tells us, like, shh, 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 mind your own business, okay? Keep your eyes on the prize, and that's that's your business, okay? And that's your focus. Okay. Um, five is elite, so that's the hierophant. Very good for that energy. Very well respected uh, teacher. Um, six is dot and overtime. 
Hmm. Simultaneously that. So that's the lover's card. Um, so the lover's card is um, uh, fulfillment within self, too. It's um, absolute balance. It's um, being highly attractive. I think, you know, in this day and age, uh, with knowledge being um, equivalent to power, that's, um, that's something that is highly coveted. If you are with someone that not just knows a lot, but knows what to do with that, um, it's even better. So you're willing to spend more time with them. You want to spend more time with them. It, that kind of energy rubs off on you. Those practices, mm, it's, it's not just a stagnant perspective. So um, that ongoing build is something that's contagious, um, something that um, anyone would like to, anyone with growth mindset would love to be around. Mm -hmm. It's um, it's not just enticing, it's um, invigorating is not the word, but it does fit. Um, energizing, I would say. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're done with that, and I'm going to show you what it looks like, okay? So that's all of that right there. Okay. So, now that this reading is officially over, and my iced coffee is now melted, it's okay. We're okay. We got through it. We don't have to do a double reading. Uh, and, yeah. Now we have time for other things. Um, yeah, that actually made me feel better. It wasn't as... Um, you know, smooth as I'd like, but that's okay. You know, everybody has their days and, you know, getting back up. It, it's just, sometimes it's like, um, it's a process um, that you figure out as you go. And I would say that this is a definite success because even though I can recall and remember um, what it was that got me upset, I'm still not, it doesn't affect me as much, you know. It, what it appears to be is a toddler stomping their feet and trying to go about things in a way that, um, dude, it does, like, I don't even know, man. Like, it's not even, it's not even worth my time. <laughs> Any more time to that, it's just not worth it. So, um, I'm going to move forward in, um, the smartest fashion possible and uh it's i don't know my happiness is non-negotiable so um there are some things that are just absolute and constant within my decisions and um so with that it, it just kind of makes sense and it becomes easier to let that stuff go um yeah is, is that fight is not worthy. I don't even know if you would call it even a fight. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with what came up today. Um, it was low key exciting. <laughs> um, I, I haven't cracked up, um, in a long time that much. <laughs> When I crack up, it's kind of like by myself. <laughs> um, so I, I just say like I had a I had a good day, and it's still going. So let's um let's end with that, <laughs> um, or continue with that. So now that this reading is officially over, I thank all my sponsors, my supporters of Divine Light and Love, in every which way that you do that. I truly appreciate it. May you receive your blessings. Um, and now, um. I shall close all portals, sending all energies back to their appropriate locations, thanking you for your respect in advance for my time, my space, my energies, my work, all of the obvious in advance. I send each and every one of you back with your karmas due, helping you initiate that sequence, that order, 
Maybe some of that chaos. There's like good and, you know, not so feel good chaos. But whatever is deserving, I shall help initiate for you. Because it's all meant for the highest good. Which also means absolutely yours. Okay. Sending you all back in light and love. I close all portals. Now. <laughs>